Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I uh, had this dream in my head of making this entirely insanely crazy, high level of detailed uh, refinery scene that I drive by almost every day. And I've never been able to actually tackle this until recently. With Clarice and the powerful tools in Maya and Soft Image, this becomes a breeze. We're going to take this attack like a game modeler. We're going to make these pieces and use modular modeling, making elements that we can repeat over and over again. And with the memory usage of Clarice, this becomes a very, very simple uh, way to create a ton of detail. In fact, we're not even going to UV unwrap these things, although that's a, an option you could definitely track and use. Use Illustrator, all the tools in our, in our, in our book here, uh, to make these cross-sections, so you'll feel Illustrator tricks in uh, to bring these into uh, Mo, um, Maya, excuse me, Maya, and, um, and be able to pull the uh, the pivot points together, and so they they snap properly, like a video game uh, engine uh, properly should. Uh, so it's very much like a video game process. It's very much a pipeline that uh, works really well. So um, in this case, we're using I beams and support structures. Adding some beveling here and there for some extra detail. They may kick some lighting out uh, and add a little special kind of a uh, kind of glint, I guess. Use some really cool tricks to create uh, nice repeatable elements that can repeat in a radial pattern, and also keep their center points uh, straight. Simple beveling, extruding, much of the things that you probably already know how to do. But in case you don't, how to know how to do this in uh, Maya or Soft Image. We'll go through the process and taking those elements into Clarice, which import beautifully and with low memory overhead, even adding some texture maps for opacity and uh, repeating those several times. In this case, uh, for example, a uh, platform and uh, turning them into combiner objects and repeating them and putting them up and rotating them in different, in different angles. Um, and I was referring back to the original work the original uh, photography in creating these elements. Adding details like uh, railings. There's a lot of railings on this particular piece, so how to bring those railings in, how to have them snap to the proper location. And it's how to use the transform objects to create that. Simple um, deform, nonlinear deformers in, in Maya, for example, to create a, a taper, a tapered cylinder. We only end up with a half a dozen assets that can't be built in Clarice to make this entire scene. Uh, all these elements inside of this, this scene, even though it's very, very complex, we only see one thing repeated many, many times. And the things we can't create in Clarice, we'll create in a Maya or a Soft Image or any program you want. Bring those in, repeat them a bunch of times, and get that extra level of detail. So, and also we'll, we'll look at the lighting and the rendering systems in Clarice, which are magical, they're amazing. They're really, really well done. And uh, tweak the lighting, tweak the look, going back to Maya and adding more elements, bring those in, and starting to see this world really come to life. Uh, maybe the trickiest part are, are angled uh, railings like this. And once you put it together into a whole system, just repeating again, taking a, one simple element, repeating it many, many times, it just has this extra level of, of uh, gorgeous detail that really, really sings out. Put in a background environment, pick the colors from the background to uh, light the scene, and let Clarice do its magic. Then you can take this one complex piece and just repeat it multiple times till you have millions and millions of polygons in the scene. And Clarice doesn't even break a sweat. Uh, it's a really great, fantastic system, and it's, I'm proud to uh, begin using this for uh, some production pieces I've wanted to do for years. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.